About 15% of schools across the GTA are improving in EQAO scores. This is according to this year's Fraser Institute Secondary School Report Card. Among them is Chamonix College School in the Black Creek Drive and Lawrence Avenue West area of Toronto. The school scored an overall rating of 7 out of 10, up from 5.3 in 2010. Its EQAO failed test percentage has also shrunk from 29.2% to 19.6% in the same five-year period. Everybody expects you to do well. So a you know, student in grade 9 has eight teachers, right? And if all the teachers set the same expectation, uh, and, and you know this, this is what we expect from you, and you can get buy-in from the kids. Mm -hmm. It's not that hard because all of a sudden they become the leaders, and then they, you know, you kind of build that pyramid, you know, and you get, and then you have that basis. So I think it's got to start with the staff and the students and the parents, and they and just lay the foundation for it. Another improving school is J. Clark Richardson in Ajax. They scored an overall rating of 6.6 .6 out of 10, up from 4.0 in 2010. The school has been showing steady improvement. Well, I find that the math program here, it's really enjoyable. It's something that a lot of schools, I feel, don't have the same kind of demeanor. I mean, back in grade 9 and the days back then, I didn't really enjoy math, but I found that as the years go on, and especially this year, that my favorite course this semester is actually my math class. And I have gym courses and I have other courses that are really enjoyable. My, my favorite to be in is my math class. The, the teacher makes it such an enjoyable experience, and I mean, at points I didn't really grasp the concept of certain things in math, but now I find that I'm really understanding it and I'm enjoying it at the same time. The school also has a professional grade theater, a gym weight room, outdoor classroom, and complete automotive garage, and also a really cool dance studio. One of the top schools in Toronto, William Lyon McKenzie, in the Allen Road and Shepherd Avenue area, ranked an 8.8 .8 out of 10 in this year's Fraser Report Card. Well, we have a, a very committed staff of teachers uh, with a growth mindset, and uh, they, are, they are superb at supporting students in class and also outside of class. So you'll notice if you ever visit our school at the lunch hour that there's a plethora of activities on, um, from math clinics, uh, literacy workshops, uh, student interest groups, student culture clubs. Uh, we have over 80 clubs that operate at the lunch hour and these are mostly student driven and the students are very good at getting teachers to sponsor their club and to supervise their club and it creates a wonderful feeling of community in the school. In Mississauga, Gordon Graydon Memorial Secondary School also made the top schools list this year in the region with a score of 8.1 out of 10. Most of our students have laptops. Yep. Um, and as a result of that, they're constantly on the internet. So we don't use textbooks as a source, we use them as a resource. Hmm. Um, information is changing on a day-to-day -day basis and I believe that's what also really helps us achieve here at the school. Um, students are learning up-to-date information because we have Wi-Fi within the school. So what they do if they're researching anything, whether it's English, geography, history, mm -hmm. science, whatever the, the discipline, they have the opportunity to research it online, get the most up-to-date information, and it really supports their learning and understanding of a particular topic. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Jenny Ewan.